Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm talking about the crypto journey. So from the last week, um, I made only a single purchase actually for Polkadot. I didn't really, I got it at a good price, less than $6 and then that went up. Um, now it seems like the uh, crypto.com app has upgraded and they have um, allowed you to do some price target buying. So I'm trying that out right now. I'm intending to buy uh, Crowcoin under seven cents. So I have it set at six, if you can imagine, 6.9 cents. So um, it's not exactly there yet, but um, hopefully it'll get there soon because it seems like everything is just kind of dropping off. There was a big spike uh, this past week, which made me a little disappointed because I wanted to buy, but, um, and if I had bought, I would be green on all the purchases because everything kind of spiked at the same time um, as you can see I'm still under 2000 um, I haven't really got any uh, big gain off of it although at one point it was at a thousand six hundred so it did kind of come back to where it was uh, definitely not at the highest so far uh, for me but anyways, um, right now I am red, uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to tell you guys something um, that isn't true, and I, um, like I said, this is not financial advice, and I would not recommend you guys doing what I'm doing, because obviously I'm not earning, so um, I can't really say that this is something that anybody should do, uh, so if you guys are buying stocks or crypto or whatever it is, you know, do your own um, research because, like I said, for myself, I'm losing. I personally don't really care because I'm playing with a lot of money that doesn't belong to me. And if not, it's money that really, it's built up over so much time that uh, it really doesn't even affect my daily life. So going back to it, uh, for the missions, um... So one thing that was a little annoying today was that because this upgrade or whatever that this change, it made me verify my phone number as well as my information all over again, which made me a little concerned because um, luckily I still remembered uh, that um, yeah, the, the all the login stuff that it was requiring me to get. Um, so I haven't really signed out of this thing, but um, when you, when they have the upgrade, they, they kind of force you to kind of re-verify everything. So anyways, um, I have more than 25 gems, so I'm going to open this box. Um, and then we're going to go into here and then redeem it. And I got a silver box and seven crow. I'm going to withdraw that. I'm going to keep that in the wallet, 17. Um, so right now there really is not much going on the wallet or I should show the earning side of things. So the earning side of things, I have five days left on the polka dot, which I intend to make a purchase on polka dot at whatever price it may be just to get the staking going at a higher rate. Because right now I have two, this one is a long-term one here. It's only 27 and I got 12. So obviously I got 39. And then I have a couple in the wallet, so I'm probably holding about 40 some polka dots, so which is essentially almost nothing. So hopefully in the coming months that that will pick up better and um, then it will get a little more interesting. Uh, as for the crow itself, um, I didn't really do anything. So basically whatever you see here is what I got. So I basically got about uh what would that be 23 some thousand coins hopefully by the end of the year i will have somewhere in the at least thirty thousand. i'm hoping as long as prices stay around the same and there's no real big change um as for the lifetime rewards i have 38 dollars. so i'm going to pull this away for a second and go into the uphold side of things so uphold has been uh, it hasn't really been doing much either. I am green on the Kava because my average price is 88 cents. This flare thing, I got a couple of them. Um, no real big thing going on there. The reason why I got flare is because I use Brave Browser and then I convert the Brave Browser coins into flare. 
Uh, the polka dot thing I have in here that was from long before, and um, it, it somehow it's staking four cents, so um, it's actually increasing after every week. Um, not by much, obviously, but it is increasing. So the flare, I guess I'll keep doing that. I'll keep using my Brave Browser monthly rewards and then just convert into flare. Whatever price it is, it doesn't really matter because um, I don't really expect much from it. Um, anyways, for the Kava, Kava, I'm going to wait a little bit also to purchase. Um, the money is, um, as you can see here, I'm, so I'm up 13 cents per um, coin. Which isn't much money, but it is increasing. So hopefully, uh, I can get it for a good price and then buy some more um, in the coming days. But as you can see, the average stake right now, I'm getting about 0.17, which isn't much because in the past, as I scroll back down here, you could see that the 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 amounts was a lot higher, especially here. Because in the past, they used to give 25%, and now they are giving just 5%, which really uh, is kind of a big hit. But the price of the coin has gone up, so can't really complain because I'm in the green. Uh, uphold, they give percentages, as you can see here. Pretty good on some of them, and whereas other, uh, they they're not as good as some other places but one thing is when they dropped the uh, percentage they didn't even give a warning it was really just a drop um, and that was kind of a and they did it twice in a month so that was kind of a, a big shocker there and uphold has quite a few rules on how much you deposit and all that kind of stuff so I'll pull it away for one second because I'm actually I don't use uphold all that much um, but anyway, so that that's uphold, nothing much going on there, and um, uh, it's really uh, kind of a I don't know, not really the best app to be using for buying crypto. But some people really swear by it. Um, I was thinking to get their debit card, but I don't know what happened to that too. They just suddenly disappeared. Because as you guys saw in the last video, I got a um, a Coinbase card. Um, I'm not really too fond of that card, but uh, no choice because I can't get any access to the Uphold card right now. But anyways, um, with that being said, that's all I have really for you guys. Um, hopefully next week, I'll go back to the Crypto.com real quick. Hopefully next week, there will be something a little more interesting. Um, I'm intending to make multiple purchases um, as well as that timed purchase for the Crow. I'm just testing that out. Um, and hopefully by next week, this thing will be back up above $2,000 again. If not, as you can see, it's actually increasing because Polkadot is going back up again. But anyways, um, hopefully, if not, um, yeah, they would be a better time for purchasing and I can get some good prices on these coins. Uh, really, like I said, I would hope to get at, to at least 30000 for Crow by the end of the year. Um, or maybe more than that. For me, the idea is to get uh, a stable amount of coins coming in on a monthly, weekly basis kind of thing. Um, I'm not too concerned about the price because um, it's a good opportunity for me to gain more coins, which is what I want. I know some people out there are looking for prices rather than long term, but for me, that's what I'm thinking. Although I'm not sure where the prices will go, but I don't expect anything to happen this year. So I'm hoping that this whole year I will have the time to build up everything. So that's all I have for you guys today. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.